Breaking news. It has happened. What next for Southwest? As Buhari shuns Tinubu. Hello, my wonderful people. The cat is finally out of the bag and then um, there's no going back about it. Buhari has already allowed Tinubu to know that um, you're not my choice. Okay, you can't succeed me. Although you did whatever you did in 2015, 2019, I believe that you've been paid enough. I gave, I gave some of your people, uh, senators, uh, House of Rep members, ministers, at your request. But now I am the new boss. Okay? We saw that, uh, we can see right now that even Tinubu's uh, camp, the whole uh, consultation has taken a downturn. They are relaxing. They are not rushing off again because uh, Buhari is putting it out there that nobody can all of a sudden come up to take over from him. Consensual candidate is around the corner. So what next for South West? Let's get all the details. The ruling of Progressive Congress APC remains the center of focus for political watchers. The clamor for the Southwest to produce Nigerian's president in 2023 is understandable and has continued to generate a lot of reactions. But no serious political party would pitch its net with a particular re re region that has refused to play mainstream politics currently today. The outcome of all the outcome of the 2015 and 2019 general elections remains a testament of this fact. It will remain a big risk for the APC to seize its presidential ticket to a region where their people have sympathy for the long-forgotten Biafra Republic. Reminding us again that the Biafra war, the endless killings of masses of innocent Nigeria, is gruesome sin, loss of properties, the emotional torture and the untold hardship fosters on the generosities of Nigerians. As it stands today, the Southwest remains one of the areas that has been clamoring to produce Nigerians' next president. Apart from the fact that it anchored to the party in 2015 and 2019 election, undoubtedly, it still remains the only region that Buhari is looking forward where APC have a solid ally with the North to produce Nigerians' next president. It's worth saying that the virtue of this party, the rotation arrangement, the presidency should rotate to the South and preferably to the Southeast. However, Buhari has other things at heart. The ruling APC is now left with choosing South, West or South East candidates to make a difference. The presidential candidate being tough at the best, Ashiwaja Mebola Tinubu, has already indicated interest for this position. Tinubu the, and the vice president seem to be the people who could potentially come from the southwest region of the country. Those who are rooting for Tinubu and those who are rooting for Osibanjo are all over the place. However, Tinubu's presidential campaign has dwindled down after it was made known to him that Buhari would prefer the APC presidential flag bearer to be chosen conscientiously, just the way they did the national leader of the, the NWC national leader of the party. There are dark clouds hovering around the presidency as hovering over Tinubu's presidential issue as the moment President Muhammad Buhari has continued to avoid Tinubu at this point in time, reflecting of his intention to bring in a consensus candidate, some says preferably somebody from the Southeast, which may be contrary to what arrangement they may have made. So this is what is going on right now. Never knew there was an arrangement between Buhari and Tinubu. Some says there was an unwritten arrangement. Another says, you know, it's just an arrangement that, uh, you know, a gentleman arrangement. However, this thing is, it's no longer business as usual. As you and I can see that uh, Tinubu currently right now, you know, it, it may be the one who may be at the losing end. If you pay attention, we brought you up to speed that uh, Tinubu presidential campaign tree has gone down. Yeah, they've, they've taken it easy. They are no longer, you know, rushing like they were because, uh, you know, we, we saw that um, Buhari, uh, you know, in APC, Buhari has said that um, there are different, uh, there are different, uh, you know, plans in the sense that they want some particular 
person to be a consensus candidate to so Buhari said that is the best that they could do. They don't want a rancor or this or that during the primary election, you know, just the way they did with the APC convention and the press and, you know, the NWC chairman, the person of uh, Demu was picked. That's the way he wants it, you know, and this is rather now bringing real crackers between Buhari and Tinubu. And, you know, this is causing real trouble right now. So my wonderful people, the problem continues. And this is, you know, uh, you know, this is this is something that everybody must continue to look at. Please, Nigerians, honestly speaking, I don't want to see anybody. OK, anyway, I'll leave my opinion to myself because those who are still looking at APC producing a president for this country. Do you want to tell me that what Tinubu has done for the country is not enough? Do you want to tell me that what Tinubu has done for this, uh, what Buhari, I beg your pardon, has done for this country is not enough? Okay, is it, is it not enough with all that Buhari has done? Do we want to continue with another regime of Buhari? Eh? Do we want to continue with another regime of Buhari? That's the question we keep asking. Do we want to continue with another Buhari now? Should we be quiet and say nothing and allow these things to continue? Is this how we're going to be going? Is this the way forward? Is this what we need to do at this point in time? Are we going to fold our arms and allow these things to continue to, you know, to, 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 to cause trouble in our, in our nation? Look at people who we are traveling on Kaduna's train. Okay, Kaduna Abuja train. See people that we are traveling. See what happened to them. Okay, look at people who, you know, even in Abu, uh, uh, Kaduna uh, International Airport. Go and see Kaduna South. Go and see the way people's life and everything are being destroyed. Yet nobody says anything. They continue with business as usual as if all is well. No, no questions asked. And then you tell me that this country all is well. I beg your pardon. All is not well, please. All is not well. There are real troubles ongoing now. The country is not the way it should be. Things are falling apart left, right and center. And the time for us to make that real move. And, you know, and speak against the current evil staring us all in the face is now. So at the end of the day, you know, we can come out of the current predicament. You see, that's the only way forward. We cannot continue with this administration that has no good for us, that has nothing to offer us. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. God bless you. Do have a lovely and a fantastic day. Have a lovely and a fantastic day. Bye for now. Bye.